Hello Taurus, welcome to your December 21st through 27th general love, life, and whatever else comes up read. Um, I am going to do some extra oracle um, going into 2021 as well. I just feel a um, need to. And also, so if you don't want to hear all this, just skip forward to tarot. I'll leave the timestamp down below. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon so you receive notification when I do upload new videos. And leave comments as I love to hear if the messages resonate. Please check your sun, moon, rising. If they do not, and I'm going to tell you why. Your sun is your soul, your spirit, um, where you, um, how you, how you are, how you see yourself, where you want to go, your highest self. Okay, there's way more to that, but that is what that is. Your moon is how you feel, your emotions, um, your subconscious. Um, so if you're cross-watching and you want to know how your person feels, you really want to dive into their moon. And your rising is the um, sign that was rising in the east the moment you were born. That is more like your physical body, um, how people see you, your front door. So this is how you show yourself to the world. I'll leave a link to um, a website where you can calculate your free birth chart. You just need to know the time of your birth, okay? Highest message for my Tauruses, highest messages. All right, also I wanna thank everybody who does purchase the extended videos that I will leave a link to as well. It's really like a small donation, a couple bucks to get bonus material, um, which helps my channel grow so I can do this full time. And I'm so grateful for everybody that does. Um, also, um, please check out my sister's channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. Um, she is freaking amazing. And one last thing I want to talk about is the conjunction, the great conjunction. Um, Saturn and Jupiter align in the first or zero degree Aquarius on the 21st, which is the first time in over 200 years moving into an air sign of Aquarius. And over the next 150 years, it'll be in all the other air signs. And what does this mean to you is that we're kind of moving from an era of uh, materialism and, you know, just wanting things, the more the better, you know, and we're going to move into a more resourceful way of thinking and really going to focus on personal pursuits and more innovative ideas. So breaking out of the box and kind of shaking things up. All right. Fixed signs may have the hardest time with this because we are so fixed. Taurus is a fixed sign. And, um, you know, change, you, you, you are stubborn with change as well as I am, Scorpio. Um, so just know to kind of be creative, think out of the box and um, watch how things change, okay? Because this is going to be, you're gonna feel the energies across the um, border, across the world um, with this shift, all right? So what I'm going to do is with the Oracle, I'm also going to look at what you may need to release moving into 2021. Um, it's been a kind of a year of pros and cons. And um, we had a lot of people had a lot of you know negative things that happened and they may not see the positive things. And we may not see a lot of the positive that came out of this year until years to come. But this really, this was a year of transformation. And so really making a list of all the pros and cons and you know burn in that list of cons so you can release those energies and move into 2021 with the fresh um fresh memories good memories of 2020 and you can start fresh into 2021 all right so let's see what's going on here you have some stuck energy here in the past um and this shows you moving into um, with the sacred temple. Like you're really, something really pushed you or you went through some um, digging this year, maybe a lot of shadow work um, and you're growing in the spirituality department. It's like you're, you can feel yourself accelerating and moving and you can feel the universe sort of working for you. Um, and you're definitely evolving or um, ascending into a higher level of consciousness when the sacred temple comes up it's like you know you feel it you know where you're going um this is your spirit your spirit's guiding you to this 5d reality um there was some stuck energy here and you may or may have not worked through it all yet but it looks as though you found yourself really really in the past here just um like i said decluttering and doing a lot of inner child work shadow work facing things this year that were right in your face that you really had to triggers and you really had to work through and it helped you evolve it helped you ascend into this 
this um, new way of living and thinking. And you have the intuition card here, which is just showing, well, let me take a step back here, because you have five, the spirit, the sacred temple, which is all about change. And um, that's what's happening in your life right now. You, there's a new chapter starting, and your guides are with you. They're all around you. Um, and you know this, with the intuition card, you're starting to trust now. You trust in the intuition, your intuition, and you're connecting to the universe more, and you're just kind of going with the flow. And here we have sacrifice, okay? And this to me is just everything here. You've made a huge sacrifice. Um, you've cut out a lot of negativity in your life. You may have cut out people in your life that no longer serve you. And this is, you know, where in 2021 you're going to you may feel like you're a little bit alone right now and or maybe you don't maybe you've passed that maybe you've already cleared the pathway and you just you're you're kind of by yourself you're happy being by yourself right now you know you don't want any company that is negative and not on the same vibe as you and um so 2021 is going to bring a new soul tribe for you, a new community. You're going to find yourself connecting to people who really do understand this process that you went through. And you're going to, or maybe there's people around you that are going to acknowledge or, or realize that they were going through the same process as you. And you're going to kind of collaborate and come together and understand each other more. Um, this is also a year of, of really discovering what truly makes you happy. And going into this new era, this age of Aquarius, it's not going to happen overnight, like on the 21st, it's going to boom, everybody goes and starts their own business. But everybody's going to, people are going to start wanting to only do things that really make them feel good, that feed their spirit, feed their higher self. They're, you're going to want to um, have your, you want, you're not going to work anymore a nine to five miserable job. You're going to be craving something in your life um, where you make money or um, off something that you love to do things like that It's going to be a more it's going to be an era an age a year of you Just trying to make you happy and live in with you You might just forget about the old ways the old I need this I have to pay this I have to stay at this nine to five job It's just going to change for you. You're going to find and want a more meaningful life coming up Okay, I get with Alice curiouser and curiouser so I feel like, it's funny because I feel like you've done done the work really, really the most. And you have discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. You know, you're starting to understand that there's something more. And you're becoming more curious about where this is going to go. You may have resisted it a little bit in the past. Um, but you're actually starting to open up to the idea, that, idea, idea, is my accent, sorry, that there is something bigger, more powerful that's actually moving along. And all this stuff we're talking about, energy and acceleration and, you know, uh, the universe and 5Ds, all starting to maybe make sense to some of you. Or you may find yourself actually um, researching more of it to understand because you can feel it. You can feel it. You're very intuitive. You know, Taurus is the empress, you know, and tarot. I mean, very intuitive, very close to the earth very very grounded people and you know you can feel the earth kind of shaking itself up and forcing everybody to sort of move into a higher vibration you know the the earth is done with all this um negative shit that's been going on and so you're starting to discover this and you're starting to be, become very curious now um you're liking i think you're you're going to start settling in more as we as we move on to the next year you're going to really start moving in settling more with this energy okay again fixed signs can be hard to change let go of things but all you know the advice is to just really trust your intuition and be creative something creative comes up you may find that you know you have all these creative things you like to do and you may end up making a lot of money with it all right so what the difference I'm going to do this time is I'm going to pull out this deck of the dark mirror. My lovely sister decided to get me this deck and it's awesome, but it's more of the dark side. So I'm going to take a look and I am actually going to read a little passage from the book because I don't want to miss anything. And this may be something that is still left that you may have to work on. This could be some of the shadow side, some of that stuck energy that you may need to um, kind of uncover and take a look at and possibly, I mean, not possibly, but release before you go into 2021. Right. This is a great read though. This is one of the, um, it's like you're one of the more evolved signs right now. Cancer was too. All right. 
All right, we have Triumph of Lies. Let's see where this one goes. Triumph of Lies. We have the triumph of lies is about appearance and appearance is always so important in the world. Day by day, it seems more important. Can that be a lie too? We seek to be what the world outside desires. This is that old way of thinking I'm talking about, okay? And not necessarily society at large. Our family or partners or friends place judgments on what we should be. In the dress we choose, we carve a mask of expectations, behaviors, and values to live by. It offers stability to ourselves and to our relations, as being honest and true to ourselves can be too tiring, too easy to make us hurt. Unfortunately, the relationship with our mask is not as straightforward as it feels. Inside the mask, envy grows, vanity takes root, lack of self-confidence becomes a habit. It gnaws at us and hurts us from the inside. It feels like it is ourselves, but it's, it's not really authentic. It is just the lie we have made habit to believe in. When our lies become a gilded cage and our dress become a burden, we should remember that we were born naked. That was beautiful, that was awesome. This is one of the best cards, I think, to just talk about everything I was just saying. Moving from that old 3D way, the materialistic ways, trying to keep up with everybody and not having enough or not feeling you're not having enough so you compare yourself to others and all these, this envy, this jealousy, this, you know, I'm not good enough, all this stuff because I can't keep up with this person, I'm not making this, I'm not doing that, I don't get the best job, all this stuff, all this stuff. This is you sacrificing and that's the one last thing. People around you who you try to be something for, you put this mask on for, and it's not helping your authentic self. And this is the one last thing, this one last intention that seems to be a big one for you is just to really let this one go. Let the expectations of others that burden you, that you have placed upon yourself, let, let that go for the coming year. You no longer have to serve anybody or be anybody but yourself. And you're going to see that moving into this age, you're going to want to start doing things, buying things. You're going to be more resourceful. You're not going to be just wasting on things that don't even make you happy. Everything's going to change from here on out. And this is the one last thing that you need to face and um, really, really meditate on. Write down stuff. Burn it. Burn it. That's my advice. Burn it. Set it out let it go say thank you thank you for all that i've learned and now move forward all right guys so that was great i'm gonna go into your love tarot now this could be completely different this should be just what's going on for some of you tauruses in love um if for some reason in some readings i'm getting sort of a prediction also um for 2021 of new love has been coming in as well Past life relationship. That's really, really awesome. You have flirt here too as well. So um, let go of control issues. I just wanted to pull this. And this goes with that message I just gave you. This is fixed signs. It's hard for us, even if we don't realize that we're holding on to things super tight. We're, we're still holding on to this life, these material things, these things that don't serve us anymore. And we need to try and learn to trust more and just let it all go and let the universe pull us forward. All right, but more in the past life relationship and flirt. Somebody could be coming into your life this week um, and it's saying to extend your lighthearted energy to others and you have known each other before. So this person that's coming in for you could possibly be somebody from a past life um, or it could be somebody actually from this life um, early on. So we'll see what the cards say. All right, what is going on in this situation? for my Taurus. Your extended read is going to be um, whatever really comes up in this read. I'll probably do a soulmate connection. Like um, I'll take whatever comes out in this read and I'll take a look at both of you and see how it progresses into 2021 and further along. I think that the relationship it will be. But we'll see what comes up for Tarot.
in. Overall energy, the hermit card. So you've really gone in and done the work. So this is, I'm looking at this one and this energy and these reads because the hermit's coming up a lot for people. I feel like you're starting to walk outside the fog now. Like you've gone within, you've, you've, you, this whole year has, has caused you to kind of um, go in and do some work, okay? And now you may have been single for a while or you may have kind of isolated yourself from the world for a while, but I feel like it's, there's an end in coming to this. I don't feel like you're going into this into this position right now. I feel like you're starting to, okay, I'm gonna walk out of my cave now, is the energy. And I get the Ace of Swords. So really honest, truthful communication coming in for you, or just communication with yourself I get as well too. You're being truly honest with yourself, especially with this Hermit card. Um, you could be connecting with a Virgo or an Aquarius Libra Gemini, but this could also be, you know, moving into that Aquarius energy. You're starting to be truthfully very honest. I get the Hierophant too. Walking in a spiritual path. There's there's Taurus energy. Okay. You're walking in a spiritual path, and you're being you're you're more connected to the truth, and you're being very honest with yourself self about what it is you truly want. You may have let go of past relationships. You may no longer want to deal with somebody that's from your past that you've been dealing with lately. You may be considering just you're done with it, okay? You want something more, you want something more committed. And then I get the justice card here as well too. So you may want somebody to come make things right with you. This could be a marriage. It could be um, just a karmic lesson with somebody, but you're, you're, you want honesty from this person and you want them to make something right with you before you even get into a commitment with this. But this could also be a closing of this chapter as well, um, whereas you may be settling, you know, moving on from something because you want something more honest and committed. You, you're looking more now for a truthful, committed marriage with somebody. And this is where somebody new could be coming into your life. So I get the page of pentacles here too. And I don't know why your read wants to come out like this, but I'm taking it because this is what I'm being guided to do. You have messages, honest messages coming in. Somebody solid. Um, the page of pentacles is very solid, truthful, reliable messages. Um, honest, healthy, healthy relationship. This is all about a healthy relationship come in, coming in. Honest communication. So expect some sort of messages coming in. And I get the Ten of Cups regarding a relationship. This is marriage. This is going. This is a strong, strong relationship that could possibly end in marriage. If not already, it could be a new strong bond that um, that is being rediscovered for some of you. Um, and you may potentially be getting back together with somebody who you may have been married to, separated, or some sort like this. But this is definitely a karmic relationship. It's a with the past life relationship here. So it's definitely somebody that you feel very close to and that you've been close to um, and you feel like you've known forever. I get the moon card. The moon card is the Pisces. This is, um, this is uh, again, that moon sign I was talking about. This is how you feel, your emotions towards this, your desires, you know, how you feel about this. You may have some sort of fears, you know, lingering around about, you know, this is what I want. Are they going to make things right? Is this person going to come in and be the one? Okay, but the moon is also guiding you to trust trust your intuition as well too and it's going here we have the intuition card here and connecting to the universe so it's really really trust in trust in the universe and trust in maybe these messages that are coming in for you um that this is going to be the one the solid relationship that you're looking for i get the devil in reverse and i get the page of wands here okay and i get the world and I'm going to take these three and I'm going to tell you why, because this is a releasing of some sort of past energy, the world, um, a, a release. And this person could be somebody definitely coming back from the past. There's unfinished business, but there's been some sort of release on this um, reckless behavior that was happening in this relationship. Um, the page of Pentacles. this person may have been in and out, kind of wishy-washy, playing around, um, and just kind of reckless with your emotions and... But there's, there's an ending to that cycle, but there's still unfinished business here. And this could be that person that's coming back around for you that wants now wants a solid, committed relationship. And I have the two of wands. So it's been, they have been 
they have been thinking about this and thinking about initiating contact. And so with the Page of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, it tells me that they're finally going to make contact. Um, and and they've made their choice. They, they made their decision to come in. Um, they've out, they weighed everything out. And I have the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Wands, which is telling me that there is action. They're coming towards you. Okay, but with the nine of cups is this is all this is what they desire. This is like self love at the the finest. It's like being happy, celebrating life, and celebrating life together. So, the this relationship is telling me, bottom line here, and this may not really resonate with everybody, but this is definitely a karmic situation, and it's going to lead to a long term commitment. It's going to lead to lead to a marriage. Um, there may have been some um, toxic relation, um, toxic uh, behaviors that were going on regarding, you know, sex. Maybe they, they were just playing around a little bit or just being very passionate and not totally committing um, for stable relationships, being stable. But they're, they're coming back because there's unfinished business. So if this is a past life relationship, it's, you could be karmic, um, I mean, twin flames that are coming there that have been in separation and now you're coming back together. Well, this could be a past relationship that you already know who this person is. And they, and it also could be, I feel like a fire sign too as well. Even though I'm getting strong water, I get strong um, earth and, um, and fire. Um, so Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, uh, any one of the fixed signs, and I have Pisces. But the overall outcome is the Nine of Cups. So this is pretty much, you know, wish fulfilled, wish fulfilled. So if this is somebody that this resonates with you, um, this next time coming back around could possibly be um, the, the time, the one. So flirt with this idea. I also get... Um, so the moon is, I'm going to try and set a time, you know, just with intuition. The moon is cancer um, energy and I mean, is run is ruled by, the moon rules cancer. So I'm thinking more of the cancer energy and I'm getting a lot of fire here too in the outcome saying, you know, you have Leo and you, I mean, we're, in, we just, we're leaving Sag, but you have Leo and you have Aries coming in and you have cancer energy coming in. So it's coming in around the spring, summertime. Um, possibly this commitment but the messages the honest messages and the initiating contact and making a decision is coming in possibly uh, the week of the 21st to the 27th okay so definitely expect some sort of messages regarding this relationship um, this person feels like there there's something more to this relationship um, and they want to come in and they want to try again they want to make this happen and they're they're a lot they're more serious and solid about this one, okay? I'm gonna leave that there. I hope that resonates. Please leave comments down below if it does. I'd love to hear about it. Um, if it doesn't, like I said, please check out your moon sign. Check out your rising. The calculator's down below in the description. Um, I'm gonna go into the extended, and what I'm gonna do is really take a look at this person, you, any energies that surround them, get some more information on who this person may be, how they're truly feeling, and the outcome of the situation, um, how it progresses into 2021. Um, but this is a pretty good read. I love your read this time. Lots of messages and possible commitment. All right? Possible marriage. All right, I love you guys. Take care.